now that we have calculated some of the ratios like gross profit margin and net profit margin you may be willing to calculate even more ratios like asset turnover or return on capital employed or return on equity of course that is these uh, ratios are superior when we are analyzing our profit and loss statement but the problem is all of these ratios that i have just named are using one or two balance sheet values in asset turnover for example we divide sales of the company with assets of the company now assets are the balance sheet figure and all the figures that relate to balance sheet we are not yet ready to calculate them because the formula that we have used here is not applicable to balance sheet values the logic is different for them and we will be learning uh, all of that when we are when we start to prepare our balance sheet so i'll skip that part now i will restrict myself to these ratios only where we only use the profit and loss values and we will move forward towards preparing a beautiful dashboard now and after that we will move forward towards the balance sheet as well and we will upgrade our ratios and I, I, we will be using all those ratios where we we can include the pnl as well as balance sheet values so let us move forward toward making a beautiful profit and loss analytics dashboard now